ಶ್ರೀಗಣೇಶಾ ನಮ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸರಸ್ವತ್ಯ ನಮ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಜಯ ಜಯ ರಾಮ 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 ಜಯ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಜಯ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ರಾಮಾಯ ರಾಮ ಭದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇಧಸೆ ರಘುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಸೀತಾಪತ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಅತುಲಿತಬಲಧಾಮ ಹೇಮಶೈಲಾಭದೇಹಂ ದನುಜವನಕೃಶಾನುನ್ಯಾನಗ್ರಗಣ್ಯಂ ಸಕಲಗುಣನಿಧಾನ ವಾನರಾಧೀಶಂ ರಘುಪತಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಭಕ್ತ ವಾತಜಾತನ್ನಮಿ ರಘುಪತಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಭಕ್ತ ವಾತಜಾತನ್ನಮಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಹನುಮತೆ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಧ್ಯಾಯಿ ಚಿನ್ಮಯಾನಂದ ಗುರುದೇವ ಮಹಾಮತಿ ಪ್ರೇಮಪೂರ್ಣ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಶೀಲ ಸದಾ ಲೋಕಹಿತೇರತ ಕೃಪಾಲು ಸುಂದರಾಕಾರ ಸಮರ್ಥ ಸತ್ಯದರ್ಶಿ ವಾಚಾ ತತ್ವಪ್ರಕಾಶಿ ಶೋಕಮೋಹವಿನಾಶಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಚಿನ್ಮಯ ಸದ್ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ತುಳಸೀದಾಸ ಸದ್ವರಿಷ್ಠಾ ಧೀಮತೆ ಪೂರಿ ಹೃದಯ ರಾಮ ಪ್ರೇಮೃತೆ ನಮೇ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ತುಳಸೀದಾಸ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ a very warm welcome yesterday we saw how parashuram ji cooled down after bhagwan shri ramchandra ji asserted this is very important at certain times we may have to go low we may have to play low we must concede for the sake of a higher purpose but at the same time you one should not become a doormat there are certain conditions situations circumstances where one has to assert and stand firm then we will find people who were adamant 
who were trying to put us down will also understand this is not an easy person to play with and then they will concede this is a very important lesson that we learned from this very particular episode having thus understanding the glory of bhagavan shri ramchandra ji jori pani bole bachan folding his hands parashuram ji bole bachan he spoke these words hridayan prema amata full of love in his heart now see when we understand the true glory of the lord the end result of that understanding is nothing but love for the lord devotion for the lord surrender at the feet of the lord and see how beautifully in this parashurama stuti now please note when we say parashurama stuti it is not a stuti on parashurama but it is a stuti by parashuram ji on bhagwan shri ramchandra ji such a beautiful chaupai 285 we will first chant जय रघुवंश बन ज बन भानु गहन दनुज कुल दहन कृसानु जय सुर बे प्रधेनु तकारी जय मद मोह कोह भ्रमहारी विनय शील करुना गुण सागर जयति बचन रचनाति नागर सेवक सुखद सुभग सब अंगा जय शरीर छवि कोटि अनंगा करो काह मुख एक प्रशंसा जय महेश मन मानस हंसा अनुचित बहुत कहे वो अज्ञाता क्षमु क्षमा मंदिर दो भ्राता कही जय 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 रघुकुल केतु भृगुपति गये बन ही तप हेतु अप भय कुटिल मही पडेराने जह तह कायर गवही पराने देवन दीन ही दुंदु भी प्रभु पर बर शही फूल हर्षे पुर नर नारी सब मिटी मोह मय सूल सियावर रामचंद्र की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय उमापति महादेव की जय बोलो भय सब संतन की जय सदगुरु नाथ महाराज की जय <coughs> जय रघुवंश बन ज बन भानु ग्लोरी विक्ट्री बी टू श्री राम वेन वी ग्लोरीफाई समबडी the basic understanding is that we have accepted the supremacy of that person which i am not capable of at this moment even in the other religions we have like for example in christianity you go praise the lord praise the lord you can find that everywhere being painted glorify why do i glorify i understand that here is somebody who has certain glory which i don't possess and therefore he definitely stands a cut above the rest he stands at a superior pedestal having understood that i offer my services to that superior personality through which i am also capable of becoming that for which that ability to be humble is very much important vidya dadati vinayam it is said isn't it so if i want to gain that supremacy at the initial stage 
I must bow down. My ego must be surrendered. Where the ego asserts, there knowledge can never happen. Think. Therefore, Jaya Raghubam Sabana Jabana Bhanu, when Parashurambi says, he means every letter and every sense of the word. Hey Rama, who delights the Ragukula, who brings joy to the Ragukula, and like what? Like the sun brings delight to the cluster of lotuses in the pond. How beautiful. You will find in Ramayan very many times, same example is being repeated. Why? Because these examples are those which we have come across. We may relate ourselves to it and understand better what is being communicated. Think. Like the sun delights the cluster of lotuses, Bhagavan Sri Ramchandraji delights the entire Ragukula. Gahana Danuja Kula, Dahana Krishanu. At the same time, glory to that Rama who is a fire. And what kind of fire? Fire that consumes the forest of demons. The forest of Rakshasas. That is the power of Bhagavan Sri Ramchandraji and therefore glory, victory to that Bhagavan Sri Ramchandraji who is a fire. Jaya Surabe Pradhenu Hitakari. Now look at the various angles of Parashuramji's praises. In the first case, he said, Glory to Rama who delights the Raghukula, a capacity to bring joy, a capacity to bring delight in a section of community, a capacity to keep the demons away, a capacity to teach the enemy, to kill them, cut asunder. And third, Jaya Sura Bipra Dhenu Hitakari. Hitakari, the one who is a benefactor, the one who is friendly, the one who brings goodness. To whom? Sura Devatas, Bipra Brahmanas, sages, saints, Dhenu cows. Here, very beautifully, all the actual Living beings are brought together. Kau represents Pashupakshi Prani. Vipra represents the most praised human being. And Sura indicates the Devatas, the celestial beings. And Bhagavan Sri Ramchandraji is one who brings delight to all. Alright. And we must un also understand, through this we have one more thing to understand. Rama is a terror to the enemy. And what does he do? At the end, he also kills them. At the same time, after killing, he also gives them moksha. He gives them jnanam. He gives them love. Think. That is why Ramchandra is glorified. Hmm? Jaya Madamoham Koha Brahmahari. Glory, Jaya, to that Bhagavan Sri Ramchandra Ji who removes, who eliminates, who takes away what? Pride, Mother, Moha, delusion, ignorance, Koha, Krodha, Brahma, all that, you know. Uh, Wrong thinking, imaginations. Hmm? Hari, the one who eliminates, who takes away, who clears. Binayasila karuna gunasagara. Glory to that Bhagavan Sri Ramchandraji, who is an ocean of humility. Vinaya. Again, remember that. Vidya dadati vinayam. 
if you have gained the knowledge of this wonderful life to be humble is the only result when i am not humble my ego plays the role and when ego plays the role that ego has to suffer this is law this is karma phala therefore vinaya being human, uh, humble seela having lot of character hmm? seela and one more uh, meaning we may say he is so friendly to everybody hmm? karuna compassion now compassion many people mistake it to be sympathy it is not sympathy it is empathy karuna compassion guna sagar an ocean of qualities values virtues an ocean of all the virtues put together is bhagwan shri ramchandra is therefore jaya to him victory may be glory be to jayati bachana rachana tinagaram may glory be to him who is a skilled speaker a rare speaker a deep speaker and the one who has the art of speech it is very important communication is the most primary requirement for everybody whoever wherever that person is communication even in family between husband and wife communication matters father and son communication matters mother and law daughter in law communication matters think employer and the employee the boss and the subordinate and why even between so many relationships we have interesting not only human relationships the relationship which we have developed between us and even the pets i have a way of communicating how beautiful it is when you see the pets communicating to the human being oh it is so beautiful the little dog wants to wants to go for a walk the moment that time comes see these are all impulsive but look at the beauty in it when the time comes the dog wants you to take to the walk because it is time it comes and stands in front of you and makes such gestures and those gestures come and indicate to me hey it is time for my walk what are you waiting for come let us go all these words it doesn't speak it's you know that i that love filled in that i so beautiful how many videos we see cats come and rubbing its you know itself with the body of its owner communication see this communication can make life beautiful or horrible terrific or terrible so communication is a primary aspect for every relationship and what to talk of bhagwan shri ramchandra ji everybody loved to communicate everybody communicated that love towards uh, bhagwan even rakshasas we will find in sundarakanda we will find where rakshasas doesn't want to fight with ramchandra ji looking looking at his beauty think we fail in our relationship we fail in our field of activity we fail within our own family many times because of interpersonal relationship being hampered by wrong communication think therefore jayati bachana rachana ati nagara glory to that bhagwan shri ramchandra ji who is killed in the art of speech how beautiful sevaka sukha dasubhaga sab anga 
glory to that Bhagavan Sri Ramchandra Ji who is a delighter to his servants. All of us, we cannot survive without our servants. But then the way we treat the servants as though, you know, like they are slaves. That is not the way, isn't it? When the boss, when the yajaman is there in front of you, the servant should get delighted. That is how you show your love to your subordinates, is it not? And Bhagavan Sri Ramchandra Ji, Sevaka Sukhada, he brings so much of Sukha to the people who does Seva to him. Subhaga Sabanga and every limb of his is so graceful and brings so much of delight. Think. Jaya Sarira Chabi Koti Ananga. Glory to him. Whose form, Bhagavan Sri Ramchandra Ji's beautiful form, is equal into beauty of a million of cupids. Kamadeva. Kamadeva is supposed to be the most beautiful, but a million, why a million? Millions of cupids put together cannot match to the beauty of Bhagavan Sri Ramchandra Ji. Karam kaha mukha eka prasamsam. Hey Bhagavan, Ramchandra ji, tell me, I have only one tongue. I have only one mouth. Karam kaha mukha eka prasamsam. How can I bring your glory with one mouth and one tongue? Your glory is so huge. Is it not? One tongue is not at all sufficient to praise your glories. Jaya Mahesa Manamana Sahamsa Glory to him, victory to him, Ramchandra Ji, who sports in the mind of the great Lord Shiva. Jaya Mahesa Manamana Sahamsa Just as the swan bird, Hamsa Pakshi, is beautiful beautifully playing in the Manasa Sarovara lake of the mind of Bhagavan Shivaji. What a beautiful comparison. How beautiful is that thought itself. In the beautiful lake of Manasa Sarovara, the Hamsa Pakshi beautifully swims, you know, bringing ripples of water and creating such a wonderful scene in that beautiful lake, which is the mind of Bhagavan Shivaji, wherein the Hamsa Pakshi, Bhagavan Sri Ramchandra Ji, is playing and bringing delight in the heart of Bhagavan Shivaji. So beautiful. And, hey Rama, now slowly he changes that tone. He says, Anuchita bahuta kayemu agyata. Hey Rama, you are such a glorious person, not knowing your glory. This is a confession of what? Of my inability to understand. I confess to you, O Bhagavan, Anuchita bahuta kayemu agyata. Because of my ignorance, so many inappropriate words I have told, which may have brought, you know, pain, which may have hurt your mind. Chamahu. Hey Bhagavan, Chamahu, please forgive me. Now, now look at the beautiful th game here as though. Earlier, Bhagavan Sri Ramchandra Ji constantly asked Parusharam ji, Hey, um, Yogi Kshamahu, please forgive me. Please forgive both of us. Lakshmana, inadvertently he might have spoken. Please forgive him. He is a child. So much Ramchandra ji asked Parusharam ji to forgive. Now the table is turned. Chamahu Chama Mandira. Oh, temple of forgiveness. How wonderful is Tulsi Ramayan, isn't it? Look at the beauty of the bhavana in each and every one of them who expresses that bhavana in its 
completeness and bringing so much of joy to the one who speaks the one who hears and the one who witnesses the whole episode chamahu chama mandira you are the very temple of all forgiveness dhuv bhrata not only you bhagwan shri ramchandra ji both of you <coughs> it appears it appears as though now parashuram ji understands the tone and the words of lakshmana until now lakshmana's words were sarcastic and was provoking but the moment the truth is revealed the same words the same tone becomes beautiful becomes soothing becomes a helping hand for inner growth think hmm chama hu chama mandira do brata please both of you are the very temple of forgiveness please forgive me parashuram ji is asking now please note कही जय 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 रघुकुल के तो ग्लोरी टू यू विक्ट्री टू यू हो रघुकुल के तो द चीफ ऑफ रघु क्लैन भृगुपति गये बन ही तप हे तू हैविंग दिस ग्लोरीफाइड भगवान श्री रामचंद्र जी भृगुपति द चीफ ऑफ सेजेस इन द भृगु Among the Bhrugu, withdrew. He said, "Hari Om, Jai Jai Mahadev." All that he might have probably said. He said, "Jai Jai Jai Ragukula Hetu, the one who brings joy to the very clan of Ragukula. May glory be yours. May victory be yours." Thus, sloganeering, Parashuram Ji. to cleave of not only ramchandra ji not only lakshman ji not only janaka and all the people thousands of people who were assembled there he took leave of all of them and withdrew himself to the mahendra chala parvata where he sat again for tapas apabhay kutila mahi paderane now the camera turns towards those kings who were sitting there all of them were shivering out of fear aap bhay kutila mahi paderane kings were you know they were shivering now what is going to happen lucky we escaped from parashuram ji now he is gone he has taken leave and he has gone to mahendra chala parvata now what is going to happen to us in front of ramchandra ji and jaha taha kayara gavahi parane all those people now remember you remember that particular th- thought we had some of the kings who were sitting near the door felt they were ignored and cornered and some people who were sitting near the front of the uh, were feeling very uh, you know hep about it ha uh, ha huh? we are near the bow we are the most important people you are near the door stay very well like that probably they would have you know criticized those people now they again the plate has changed people who are sitting near the door they were very happy for that seat because now they can escape jaha taha kaya ra gavahi parane all of them he escaped think this is the glory of bhagwan bhagwan does not do anything but gets everything done hmm devana dinhi dundubhi devana all the gods the celestial beings now started all the problems are solved all the worries are over everything is settled therefore now the celebration start what is the celebration celebration of the marriage of bhagwan shri ramchandra ji and the great mata janaki sita ji now the celebrations has started devana din hi dundubi they all you know started the kettle drums and then trumpets everything prabhu par bharsha hi phool all of them showered flowers on the head of bhagwan shri ramchandra ji and of course uh, mata sita ji harshe puranar नारी सब 
पुर नर नारी सब द मेन एंड वुमेन एवरीबडी इन द सिटी हु हैड असेंबल्ड देयर हर्षे ऑल ऑफ देम रिजॉइस दे ऑल प्रोबेबली मस्ट हैव स्टार्टेड प्लेइंग सम इंस्ट्रूमेंट सम ऑफ देम मस्ट हैव जॉइन वन सॉन्ग ग्रुप सॉन्ग प्रोबेबली सम ऑफ देम मे बी डांसिंग सम ऑफ देम क्लैपिंग सम ऑफ देम यू नो throwing up all the flowers and color powder probably we can imagine all those colorful celebrations miti mohamaya sula and all the agony pain suffering the ignorance the it is the ignorance that has brought out pain suffering agony displeasure whatsoever all of them born out of ignorance everything disappeared and what remained is a beautiful ecstatic moment of bhagwan shri ramchandra ji and sita ji's wedding hmm? now before going further there are very important points in this परशुराम अवतार एंड परशुराम आवेश अवतार परशुराम आवेश प्रसंग ब्यूटिफुल पॉइंट्स विच वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आर दे वेरी इंटरेस्टिंगली वी फाउंड दैट लॉट ऑफ हास्य रस एंड भक्ति रस were beautifully playing in this entire episode lakshman ji while he was speaking there was so much of hasya we all know though we did not we might not have laughed loudly but there was so much of hasya while he was teasing parashuram ji is it not at the same time lakshman ji's bhakti lakshman ji's reverence lakshman ji's devotion towards rama was so evident while he was speaking the glory of rama or while he was teasing shri parashuram ji in both the cases what was evident was lakshman ji's shuddha prema <coughs> towards भगवान श्री रामचंद्र जी वॉज एक्सट्रीमली एविडेंट नाउ परशुराम जी अवतार इज कॉल्ड परशुराम आवेश अवतार वॉट इज आवेश फ्यूरफुल फ्यूरियस अवतार एंड द इनकारनेशन नाउ प्लीज बी वेरी अटेंटिव परशुराम अवतार वॉज टू फुलफिल ए पर्टिक्युलर पर्पज a particular limited purpose be very attentive now parashuram avatar was not purna avatar but it was avesha avatar to fulfill a particular purpose bhagwan shri ramchandra ji or bhagwan shri krishna both of their avatar was purna avatar whereas parashuram ji's avesha avatar was limited and for a particular purpose what is the purpose it was only to discipline please note it was only to discipline the most arrogant kings hmm? there was one uh, jamadagni he was a rishi he was also killed by parashuram ji think and therefore to bring knowledge of what bhagwan is and to teach these arrogant irresistible rajas parashuram ji came as a avesh avatar now that the next point in this is parashurama's avatar is to discipline kshatriya and that particular purpose is fulfilled the project is completed and 
द ग्लोरी ऑफ भगवान श्री रामचंद्र जी हैज बीन एस्टैब्लिश्ड वंस रामचंद्र जी हैज टेकन द अवतार इन दिन दिस पुण्य भूमि वॉट रोल हैज परशुराम नीड टू डू वै रामचंद्र जी हेज कम एस अ क्षत्रिय Parashuram ji wanted to discipline the Kshatriya. Once Ram Chandra ji comes, he has come to re-establish dharma. Therefore, now Parashuram ji has no role to play. His purpose, his project is already completed. Therefore, he needs to withdraw. This is dharma. This is how it is. Once your job is over, withdraw. in life please note in life we have a purpose you know why retirement is given until then you had responsibility to take care once they are all grown up your purpose is over now retire what is retiring turn your mind towards bhagavat chinta the laukika chinta now the children and grandchildren will take care don't poke your nose there don't interfere in your children or grandchildren's laukika affairs love them embrace them guide them to whatever extent is required don't step forward don't cross the boundary don't cross the limit if you cross the boundary if you cross the limit and interfere into the children's affairs you will get it back think parashuram ji crossed that limit and therefore he got it back from ramchandra ji life will also throw stones at you remember please therefore before throwing stone beware look at that he parashuram ji actually came for the purpose of disciplining the king but then what happened he himself became a terror to everybody now once he has become a terror to everybody he has to be shown the door That is what Ramchandra Ji did. He yes, he accepts the fact that the king needs discipline, but once that is over, once Bhagawan has come, one has to retire. Now see, as soon as he came, when he came into the hall, who broke the bow? I am going to kill the entire clan. Oh, 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 Rama, 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 Rama. Now tell me. who gave the authority to parashurama to say that i am going to kill the clan think is it not stepping the boundary however everybody remained quiet why respect for a tapasvi respect for the sage the respect for the knowledge what he has gained respect for his ability and talent respect for his capacity in warfare think everybody gave respect to it to him but he was shouting throwing tantrums here and there. at home how many times we have children throw tantrums many father and mother keep quiet isn't it think ramchandra ji came and showed him his place think therefore be careful when you interfere into other people's affairs hmm a brahmana a tapasvi should not be speaking like that he has got his own way of you know communication a characteristic of a tapasvi a characteristic of a brahmana in communicating what it is to be communicated has a way 
एंड देर फोर भगवान रामचंद्र जी टू यू नो रिटर्निंग इज टू इंडिकेट टू परशुराम जी दैट योर मिशन इज ओवर डिड यू गेट दैट पॉइंट यस परशुराम जी गॉट द पॉइंट देन वॉट डिड यू डू ही फोल्डेड इज हैंड्स एंड ऑफर डिज नमस्कार टू भगवान श्री रामचंद्र जी एंड देन रिटायरमेंट If he had not gone, others would have started. Is it not? Think. Therefore, knowing that it was unfair on the part of Parashuram Ji, Bhagavan also played a trick, as it may be, hmm? to teach Parashuram Ji his limits, to show Parashuram Parashuram Ji his boundary, hmm? and. Now, Bhagwan has come for a purpose again. What is that? To get married to Sita Ji. And very interesting point here. It was Parashuram Ji who told Janaka Maharaj about the bow. The one who breaks the bow has to be Bhagwan. Yes or no? He only said. Nobody else can lift the bow. Only Bhagwan alone can break the bow. No way is he interfering. If what he said was truth, naturally Rama must be Bhagwan. Where is the need to throw tantrums? See, therefore, most important in our life is remain calm. Remain relaxed. Look at situations objectively. Face the challenge objectively. Yet remain calm and quiet, undisturbed. Look at Ram Chandra Ji. That is the glory of Ram Chandra Ji. Think. <sighs> That is why, at the end. Parashuram ji says, "Namaste to both both of you, Ram Chandra ji, Lakshman Lakshman ji. Why you are temple of forgiveness? Please forgive me. I am sorry." And then what did do? Mahendra Achala Parvata. Achala Parvata. Meaning what? He went to settle down without disturbance for meditation. Ha. Huh. Another very important point. In the Valmiki Ramayan, this episode, this much of episode is not there at this particular juncture. In Valmiki Ramayan, also Parashuram ji comes when after the marriage, after the time lapse, and then then they had to go back when the entire retinue, along with Janaka Maharaj, Ram Chandra ji, Sita ji, Lakshman, and all of their wives, all the four uh, uh, brothers, their wives. when they were going back to ayodhya in between parashuram ji comes and then he uh, makes a small noise and then that gets over then and there lakshmana doesn't come into picture there why that is also a reason see ramchandra ji is glory ramchandra ji is prowess must be established in the presence of all the kings and people what is the point in talking about ramchandra's glory in a forest on the way back to ayodhya <laughs> it is a beautiful i tell you a very interesting example in the olympics in the olympics let us say this person has gained a gold medal now the organizer says okay i will send you your medal through post you can go of what use is that medal isn't it in front of the entire crowd this person has become has gained that first position therefore he must be glorified in front of the entire crowd and the gold medal or the gold cup has to be given to them in front of everyone then that gold medal that gold cup also gains importance 
Otherwise, it has no value. Similarly, Bhagavan Sri Ramchandra Ji's prowess, Bhagavan Sri Ramchandra Ji's glory must be shown in front of the entire crowd. Therefore, here is the appropriate time. Therefore, Tulsi Das Ji brings this particular episode here itself when Shiva Dhanush is being broken. And there, it makes no sense. Finally, Bhagavan Sri Ramchandra Ji's prowess, his glory, his maryada must be established and this was the appropriate time it is to be, which has to be done and therefore, Tulsi Das Ji brought here and that glory of Bhagavan Ji, the prowess of Bhagavan Ji was very well established at this particular period of time. And therefore, Parashuram Ji had to bow. And the last point in our understanding, when Parashuram Ji himself is falling at the feet of Ramchandra Ji, what are these kings thinking about? They have no choice at all. And they were so afraid of Ramchandra Ji when Parashuram Ji bowed at the feet of Bhagavan Sri Ramchandra Ji. Then only they also understood the glory of Ramchandra Ji and that was a purpose also. Maybe Parashuram Ji deliberately might have done all this so that Ramchandra Ji's glory is established in front of the world. Think, this is the beauty. This is the symbolism. This is the most wonderful, meaningful episodes among the many hmm, about Bhagavan Sri Ramchandra Ji, Parashuram Ji, Lakshman Ji and of course in the presence of Janak Ji and all the arrogant kings and humble people. Therefore, Parashurama Stuti Prasanga, Parashurama Avesha Prasanga, Parashurama Avesha, what do you call it as? Avatara is a very beautiful episode which teaches all of us a plenty. We just need that eye to see and gain knowledge. Yaha Pashyati, Saha Pashyati, says Upanishad. We will continue tomorrow, starting with the wonderful, glorious celebrations that, has been, that is going to happen about Ramchandra Ji and Sita Ji's Vivaha. We will continue tomorrow. All right. सियावर रामचंद्र की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय उमापति महादेव की जय बोलो भय सब संतन की जय श्री सद्गुरुनाथ महाराज की जय ओ शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम सद्गुरुनाथ महाराज की जय